memory of INSEAD, there's so many that are kind of competing. I think it might be um, the day that I was given the um, one of the top 50 alumni awards because that was really blew me away and it was, it was a pretty special honor um, because I have so much admiration for this institution and the incredible people that have come here. Um, but if I'm really honest, I think it was when I was 23 years old and I came to uh, the ball out at the Chateau de Courance because when you're 23 and you walk up that long drive and you've never seen anything like an INSEAD gala before and the Chateau de Courance is a pretty special place. I remember just being kind of blown away, just like unbelievably um, thinking, what is this? This is, this is beyond, is this a movie? Is this a dream? It was just so, so amazing. It's, it is unique because of the people. Um, there's no cultural bias. Everybody's a minority. It's a marketplace of ideas, and so who you are and what you believe and the ideas that you bring and, and what you learn and, and that, that whole melting marketplace um, it's just, I think it's unique in the world. I'm not sure anything else exists like it. And so, um, yes, you build strong, deep relationships which, which last a lifetime, um, but you learn a lot about yourself through that interchange and that kind of ideas marketplace that exists here. The uh, MBA really transformed my career. I knew in my 20s that I wanted um, to, to kind of top off my 20s by going and getting an MBA to kind of kind of consolidate what I had learned and position me for the, the rest of my career. But I couldn't have imagined that it would work so well or that it could have been so um, kind of stimulating in a, in a positive way. It was difficult. It's not that it was fun, it was difficult, but the process of learning and growing always is. Um, but it, it was, I was able to make an incredible shift in my direction and to get what I had done previously really valued and to take off in a new direction and it built my confidence, not initially. Again, a lot of this is difficult phases to go through, but if I look at where I am today compared to where I was before incident, there's just no way. It's just, it just is not possible in my opinion that I could have gotten where I am today without having been to INSEAD. Well, INSEAD um, students are high achievers. That's what it takes to, to get into INSEAD. Um, and I think that we need to continue to expect INSEAD alumni to be leaders. And by what I mean, uh, what I mean by that is leaders in the sense of believing and building things which are bigger than themselves. Business school students, executive ed students are very good at playing the game of business right, and organizing all of the hotels on the Monopoly board game such that they win. But life is not a board game and it's not a zero-sum game. It's not about winning or losing. It's about creating a more inclusive model. Right, thinking about things which are bigger and building a better system. And I think that we need to continue to expect that of the people who walk these halls and particip participate in this institution, that they're part of building more inclusive models, because those are the only legitimate models that I can see, whether it's in the political space, the business space. It's, it has to be win-win-win. It's not about some people losing in the game of life. Sometimes I forget that I'm using the alumni network because so many of these people just simply become my friends. So I, I, um, I do know that they've gone to INSEAD like me and so I recognize that they're a friend from INSEAD. But I have to say that I don't think of it so much as a tool, but just a facet of my life. Um, and I know that I can pick up the phone and there won't be a question of kind of, you know, why are you calling me, but kind of how can I help? And that, that kind of generosity is, some, is sometimes astounding, the, the level of busyness and how you can kind of cut through that in somebody's life. And I recognize it in myself that I, if I get an email from somebody who's looking for some help, just wants a couple minutes on the phone, who's going to be in London, could I have a coffee and so forth? You find it impossible not to say, well, sure, I'll try to fit this in, or let me see what I can do, um, let me see how I can help, and so forth. So I, so I think that there's an innate desire to help other INSEAD alumni, um, and it's much more than just a utilitarian tool. It's really a very large group of friends. Um, people who know each other in different ways, and not everybody is super close friends, I'm not suggesting that, um, but it's ultimately just a real good network of friends.